<laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> right off the bat, drop my my whiteboard. Okay, this is gonna be part three of what I'm talking about whenever I'm talking about the game. Because I misspoke. Thank you very much for one of the commenters. I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was, what it, uh, the name was, but I completely bleeped over galaxies for some unknown reason. Other than all of this seems a bit silly to me, but I have to speak in English. So I apologize, and so I will redo this with a galaxies used instead of universe and go through it and do this right. Uh, so this will be part three of what was going to be a two-part of the game. All right? So let's start back, kind of reiterate a little bit. Let's start with, here is... Planet Earth, there's the dot of Planet Earth, and on Earth, you're a tiny little dot, your little, your uh, town is a tiny little dot, and in that town is a tiny little dot, and that's you, that's you, so you're a tiny dot on this dot, and that is Planet Earth, and then we go to Earth is a part of a solar system, there's the solar system, our solar system, that uh, we go around and around the sun, what we call the sun. So you are a tiny dot on a tiny dot. This is Earth. And on Earth, there's a tiny dot, and that's you. And this is the solar system, our solar system. And our solar system is tiny dot in our galaxy. Our galaxy is the Milky Way. So here is our galaxy, which is the Milky Way, which is a dot now. And on there is a tiny little dot, be tinier than that, tiny dot, which is our solar system. And in that solar system is a tiny little dot, which is Earth. And on that tiny little dot is an even tinier dot that is you. Okay, and that is the Milky Way. Okay. So, I believe I looked it up, and these are round numbers, but I believe there are, um, shoot, now I just... Hit record up. and blank. I'm just going to look <laughs> it up because it did just blank. So let's just, before I, so I don't get it wrong, let's just look up and see how many galaxies are in the known universe. Galaxies in the universe. Okay, so there are one to two hundred billion galaxies as of in 2018. the known uniform universe. So turn around, Stephanie, and see. There's the Milky Way and Andromeda Galaxy, Whirlpool Galaxy, all these galaxies, and there's uh, one hundred to two hundred billion galaxies, right? Okay, so let's pull back and let's say how many, let's see, how many, how many, um, solar systems, systems in the Milky Way. Let's just see. So far, astronomers have found more than 500 solar systems and are discovering new ones every year. And that's in the Milky Way galaxy. And the scientists estimate that there may be tens of billions of solar systems in our galaxy, per perhaps as many as 100 Billion. Now, they've found 500, and they estimate 
that there are as many as 100 billion. So what that means is, here's the Milky Way, here's the Milky Way, and there's our solar system, which counts as one. Ours is the first, of course, because we're humans. <laughs> and in here, they have found 500 more of just like us, and they estimate that there are 100 billion. That's one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, right? Because a billion comes after a million, and a million is six zeros, so that's nine zeros. So that many solar systems in the Milky Way galaxy alone. And the Milky Way is just one galaxy in the known universe, and they suspect that there were, how many of those? Uh, One 100, yeah. Billion? One, yeah. So the same number, and I've actually looked up there, and there are some astronomers that think it's in the 100 trillion, as far as how many more galaxies there are, okay? How many more Milky Ways there are. And remember... This is the Milky Way, it's our galaxy, and we're in a solar system, and there's one planet in there, and you're a tiny dot on this, this. Now, there are, this is a hundred billion, one hundred billion. There are seven billion humans on the planet, approximately humans on the planet. Just seven. Seven billion humans on this planet alone. And low estimates are there's 100 billion solar systems in our Milky Way. Can you scooch it over a little? Okay, good. And there are 100 billion galaxies in the known universe. Alright, are you getting some kind of an idea about how big what you can see? This is what humans can see right now, or estimate right now. Okay? And I assure you that these numbers were near this big 200 years ago. Not even close to this big 200 years ago. Now, what happens is with humans is when you are born and you're a baby, let's say you're one year old, in one year old human you, you assumed that the known <coughs> universe, all that existed, was your house. And then you grew up and you got more knowledge and you figured out more things and you were, say, four. And now you think that the known universe is your town. And then you grow up some more, and you find out that, well, um, there's your state. And you logically get older and older. You know that there are countries, and there are planets, and there are, there's the planet, and then there's the solar system, and then there's the galaxy, and then there's the universe. Okay? Now, at this point, you think that you've got it all down, and now it's just a matter of time, of figuring out, all you got to do now is count all the planets, and all the solar systems, and all of the galaxies, in this one known universe, one universe. Now, this is just, just throwing it out there, now with what I have talked to you about on this one planet. We don't even know that much about the other planets in our solar system. And I assure you, you know very little about the truth of these other planets in our own solar system. And our solar system is a very big place. The Milky Way, we aren't even close to finding everything that's in the Milky Way. Not That's even, in our galaxy. Not even close. Oh, yeah, sorry. Here's the solar system. 
Yeah, we don't know very much about our own planets and our own solar system. And in the galaxy, I spoke myself again, in the galaxy we aren't even close to finding all of the planets, moons, suns, solar systems, solar systems, not even close. That's a guess, is what they're guessing at. And this is the number that in this so, I mean, in this galaxy, they're guessing at what used to be said, oh, no, there's not another, there's not another planet that has the same setup as planet Earth to be able to have life. Now, there's not another one. Now, just within my lifetime, they've gone to not only is there uh, planets, but they're, I'm pretty sure they've found a couple that they're pretty sure they about. Are they? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think they're guessing it now. There's a possibility of 100 million or 200 million that they're guessing in our galaxy that can sustain life like Earth can. In and, the same way, yeah. Yeah, in the same way. And that doesn't even count all the other ways that life could be maintained. Now, that's in our galaxy. We're not even close. Let alone to all the other galaxies, the other 100 billion galaxies that we can't even come close to getting into but somehow in there <laughs> humans still have the ability to maintain that they're the only beings only intelligent beings in all of this only intelligent beings in all of this okay also, now, that there's only one universe. Yeah, and then we go into universe, which we're going into next. Yeah, the only beings that are <laughs> capable of thinking and building. Right, okay. If you believe that after everything I just said, really, you shouldn't be listening to my videos. You really should just move on to something else. Let me insert right here. If y'all haven't noticed, I'm not commenting like I used to or reading your comments it's just I don't have time anymore so um, I do skim down through them and I try but if you really uh, need to talk to me uh, you're gonna have to email me guys because I just I just don't have the time I'm not ignoring you I am trying to skim down through them but I just simply don't have the time anymore so I apologize um, and I do Thank you all for watching and subscribing and and uh, setting up sessions with me. They're really interesting, and I think they're helpful to people. And thank you so much for every, anyone who uh, gives through Patreon. That's so, so helpful. I really, really appreciate that. Okay, back to this point again. Okay, now we've got all that that we know about. And now we put all of this that we know so much about right which is basically our solar system which i think we just found out we had that wrong because we thought one of the planets was a planet come to find out it's not and that was just recently and that's in our own solar system so we're really clueless when it comes to our galaxy and super clueless when it comes to the other galaxies let alone the universe but somehow in this high amount of knowledge that we have in all of this, we have decided, humans have decided, that there is one universe. Why we've decided this, I don't know, considering just scientific data would presume that if we went from planet to solar system, solar system to galaxies, galaxies to a universe, that probably we've got this one wrong too. And we do. There are, of course, many, many more universes. Many, many more universes. Now, again, this is all what you can see with your human five senses and the machines that you have set up that will record and send you data through five senses. I think they might have data on, like, uh, radiation, maybe some of the other ones that are close to human range, but it's really within human range. Now, you know that there are 
ultraviolet lights and radiation. You know that oxygen in the air is not just nothing, that they're made of molecules of all different kinds of stuff that's in the air. That water is not just water, that those are made of molecules as well. So it's, you've got to assume, just with logical thinking, that perhaps... When we look out at all of this, the stars in the sky and beyond, and, and beyond, that probably what we're looking out at, there's more to that too, that we just don't know about, okay? So I'm telling you that there is more than one <coughs> universe, and I know that doesn't make any sense because unit is one, but in the, everything belongs in that. But that is, we're going to call the human known universe. We're going to leave it at that. That there is a universe that humans will say at some time is theirs. Eventually there will be, well there already are. There already are beings in this universe that know about other verses. So that makes this not a universe anymore. It's one of the many verses. So that's a verse. We're in <laughs> one verse, and there are lots of other verses. And verses upon verses upon verses. And all of these verses are, are, are in a bigger thing that is going to be called something else. That's going to be called the... How about Omniverse? Haven't I heard that before? That sounds like a good one. That all of these verses are going to be in the Omniverse. And that's like going from here out. Okay? Now, that doesn't even count the stuff you can't see. In the layers of stuff that you can't see. In the, uh, the alternate timelines. So that goes kind of sideways. So you've got you standing here on this little dot. Looking up at the stars. And there's the solar system the galaxy, the verse, the omniverse, and more, and more, and more, and more, and more. And then here sideways is another Earth, and another Earth, and another Earth, and all of this stuff going this way. Okay, so there's alternate versus kind of side by side and then there's this that keeps growing that you're this little tiny dot inside of this thing that gets bigger and bigger and bigger and it goes quite a long ways it goes a long ways before um it would be it would end so all of this up here with this being uh, actually there's quite a bit that you could actually do in our solar system alone there are um, lives that you could have, you could reincarnate within the game, within the 4D game, this is all 4D <coughs> here, there, there are a lot fewer options now, there are more than there were, Earth was the first 3D, Earth was first 3D, first 3D, and once that game hit 3D, there are now other planets that are similar to Earth, that are in the third dimension, and now there are planets within this layout, out here and here and here and here, that are now options for to come back, reincarnate within the game, not reincarnate to Earth, but reincarnate within the game, within these verses, these different verses, all over the place, because there's a a uh, hundred billion of these two, and a hundred billion inside a hundred billion inside a hundred billion, and on and on and on. And these 3D optional planets and 2D optional planets can be sprinkled anywhere in all of these places. So you can, as a creator god, as a, as a what we call long-term human, um, I'm going to change that. We're going to change that. At this point, these are players of the game. These are people that like to... These are entities that like to play the game. They can now reincarnate back within the game on a 3D planet, 
see a 3D planet here, there's 3D planet here, and there's a 2D planet here, 2D planet here. Right now, as I speak, there is nothing that's going lower than 2D, but as we know, that will change. And then I don't know what you're going to call them. They'll call them something different on this planet anyway. They undoubtedly will not call it 2D. They'll have some other name for it. But if you came back and you kept this standard, I'm not sure what they would go. When they go to 1D, and then it would be 0D, negative. and then it would be negative 1D, <coughs> negative 2D, I don't know. Arbitrary names. Arbitrary names. But you can come back and you can play, you can reincarnate in the game, in any of these verses, in any of these galaxies, on any of these dimensions. These are all... 4D and below. This is not 5D. 5D things change dramatically. Dramatically. All of this stuff, all of these solar systems, galaxies, verses, um, and omniverses and beyond, these are also, there's just as many of these in 5D as well. Now, once you go above 5D, that gets into more energy stuff than it is physicality, as you would know it. So it would not be a conversation that we would have. So anybody that's talking about 5D, 60, 70, 8, 9, 10, those are people that when I listen or read them, they are all talking about levels within 4D. What I say is 4D, they are breaking into dimensions. Because you certainly can, from their perspective, 4D, for me, what I call 4D, includes um, uh, God, Jehovah. We'll put, God, we'll put Jehovah. We don't want, I don't want him using our, our title. Although he is a God, too, just like we're gods. But we're going to put Jehovah Yeah, there. let's just try not to confuse more. Yeah. Uh, all the Jesuses are there. Uh, Buddha is there right at the tip top. He's at very high, very high, 4D, just hanging out. Um, Satan is there. Demons are there. Um, angels are there. All of the, all of the gods and goddesses at, in history, all gods and goddesses, are in 4D. Those are all in and much, much, much more. Not including Star Wars and Star Trek. <laughs> not including? What? You said not including? Oh, I think I misspoke, actually. Yeah, uh, including. Including. Star Wars and Star Trek. I'm very Star tired. Trek. Star Wars. I meant, I think Star I meant Trek. like, whatever you say, like, not on the list. Like, also not, add. Yeah, add, add all Star Wars, Star Trek, all fantasy that's not magical. If there's any kind of fantasy where there's any kind of negativity or conflict, it's in 4D. Uh, any kind of magic, magical creatures where there is not any conflict, then conflict as you know it, then um, that could go into 5D. But all of these dudes, Star Trek, um, what's, uh, places that uh, Aeon Trin Flux. Serenity was, was in. Serenity. Serenity. Aeon Flux. Yeah, Aeon Flux. Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy. All of Marvel. Um, uh, Star Troopers, Starship Troopers. Uh, Those guys Predators, are there. Xenomorphs. Yeah, all of that stuff and more yeah, that you can imagine. Because I just showed you. All of the places that were available in 4D, all of in the verse and the multiverse, all of those are options. Where do you think all this, those stories come from? <laughs> they come from the imagination of humans because their imagination is not very good. So a lot of this <coughs> got kicked off by beings that come from other places. Mm. Okay, so when you die, you do not... Mention. Dying does not mean that you leave the universe. I've had people say that a lot. You die and leave the universe. Don't say that. 
You can't say that. You have to leave the game. Just use leaving the universe, this universe, that doesn't get you out of this game because there are a bunch of other verses in, in the omniverse and beyond. Okay? So if your mind says, well, all we got to do is leave this universe, our universe, as you know it, uh, without being clear, and you've got all these other vibrations going on, uh, you might be reincarnated. Reincarnation is not limited to Earth <laughs> at all. Uh, reincarnating back into this game is... Uh, you wouldn't reincarnate 5D and above. You just don't. You're very aware of when you're dying and when you're coming back. So there wouldn't be an, any kind of reincarnation. But you certainly can reincarnate into everything 4D and below. You can absolutely, let me say that again, you could reincarnate, reincarnate to anywhere 4D and below. Anywhere. This isn't an Earth-based thing. You can you can decide that um, you don't want to deal with Earth anymore, but not be clear about it and be reincarnated over in one of these other verses in another galaxy far, far away. Reincarnated as a Wookiee. Yeah, as a Wookiee. <laughs> or, um, yeah, any any being that has a life cycle, then you could be reincarnated.